to it's me Kiani. Today's video is going to be on this beautiful unit right here. This video is also in collaboration with Tyson Beauty. Where at Tyson Beauty, you can be your own kind of beautiful. I'm so excited to be partnering with Tyson Beauty. They've given me several opportunities to come into store, try on specific units that fit my lifestyle, and yes, now it's your turn. On February 18th, Tyson Beauty is going to be hosting my first meetup here in Charlotte of 2017. It's going to be from 2 to 4. They have everything that you can need in their new 40,000 square foot beauty playground from accessories, natural hair care products, synthetic lace fronts, full lace fronts, and hair bundles. So make sure that you check the description box. The tickets to Eventbrite will be linked down below. I'm hoping to see you on February the 18th right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. But for now, if you want to get all the details on this beautiful unit right here, just keep on watching. All right, guys, let's get started. Look at this beautiful unit. Her name is Tavia, and I am completely obsessed with this coloring. This is, of course, the 613 as well as this length oh my goodness let's take a look at this ombre uh, it was a little bit more on the darker side than i wanted but the parting does look amazing it is definitely a silk lace front i'm absolutely obsessed with this type of lace it doesn't pull my baby hairs it's very very soft and comfortable to wear tavia does come with two combs in the front one in the back and of course that old important adjustable strap and with this unit it's really really cute because those are my girls that like to wear their hair up there are these cute little baby hairs Hey girl. But let's get back to this ombre. So I decided that I wanted just to tone that ombre down. I grabbed a little bit of colored hairspray and I sprayed it. I mean, that's just as simple and easy as that. Oftentimes, you will find ombre units that might be a little too dark, so take matters into your own hands. And you'll see that I spray this ombreness all the way over the ombre, and then I'm going to grab a brush and just comb through it, and you can see the difference. But you definitely want to let it dry. This might be something you want to do at night, so in the morning when you're ready to pop the unit on, then she is ready to go. But for the sake of the video, the spray is still a little bit wet, but it worked out really really nice it gave a lot of body to the unit as well so as you're maintenancing the units during the days of wear you can definitely go back in and adjust the ombre as much as you like so just brushing through it you'll see that it starts to look a little bit more like a full and such such a heavy darkness yes this unit can be worn in the middle it can be worn on the side and she melts into the scalp just right but just to make sure that she doesn't slip, I definitely love to use a little bit of the got to be glue. You only need a little bit. You don't want to ruin the unit and you don't want the gel to cake up. I set my hair dryer on the lowest setting, not the highest because um, this is not a Beyonce moment or the lack thereof. I'm going to grab a little bit of my concealer, pop that right along the hairline to make sure that if that gel did get a little too light, that it's now worn back up. Pop a little bit of concealer right in that hairline to make sure that there's no separation and then you want to set it with a little bit of mineralized powder I do also love to use a angled brush because it makes sure that those products set right where they should go I'm going to grab a little bit of brow pomade pop that also along the hairline just to make sure that it kind of mimics baby hairs so that lace is not so visible and there you go just beautiful camouflage technique now, yes, I do use um, finishing sprays in my unit. My hair does typically respond to hairspray just the way my hair would. And you want to brush down a little bit of the flyaways. This unit was one of those that it does respond, again, just like regular hair. And look at the length. And you'll see right underneath the texture of this unit is definitely the way that I want the top to look. But just for the sake of, again, with the video, I'm showing you this is what she looks like directly out of the pack. Lots and lots of volume, super light unit, and you can wear her just like this. But of course, I am definitely one of those girls that likes to take matters into my own hand. This unit is heat safe, so I'm going to grab my curling wand, and I'm just going to make the end of the unit look like underneath the unit. And you can see that she curls really, really nice. I would say no higher than about 350, and a little bit of heat goes a very, very long way. Style her as you would, and you know, there you have Tabia. This unit is available in multiple different colors. I want you guys to check the description box and you get a chance to meet me on February the 18th. You are invited. Make sure you check the description box. Go to eventbrite.com, grab your ticket, and I hope to see you right here in Charlotte on February the 18th. 
You can also check me out on all my social media to keep up with all of my other videos where I'm headed in the United States. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hugs and kisses. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.